Welcome back. Today we're going to go over my top 10 most carried knives under $100. All of them produced in 2023 and I will have links to everything down below that is available. They are affiliate links so if you want to help support what I do here on the channel that's one way to do so. Now being that the end of the year is coming up I've been carrying a lot of the budget knives or any a lot of the under 100 and then you know the others as well I'm trying to nail down the top 10 of 2023 videos so these aren't the top 10 yet these are just the ones that i've been carrying and using awful lot first one is it's a vv vision fg a super popular one for them right now it's an snx tan collaboration with a super lock very fidgety very smooth very snappy i tested and reviewed this one and i love that utility blade nitro v steel you can get it in g10 micarta beautiful damascus now it comes with a deep carry pocket clip i decided to put a mill uh Civivi aftermarket mill titanium clip on mine and if you're going to do something like this you, you need to cut the little tab i don't know if you can see that i've showed this on another video you got to cut the flat tab off right here so you have a spacer basically to lift the clip up so your clip's not uh bending upward making it real awkward but love the Civivi Vision FG. Now with that titanium clip, it's way more comfortable in hand. The deep carry pocket clip was kind of stabbing me in my palm during my testing. So now I absolutely love it. Beautiful design. I have the this one, which is under 100. And then I have the premium one that we came out with initially. I love both of them, but this one came out this year. Number two, we have the CJRB Echo Titanium version. <laughs> I absolutely love this version right here. Feels a lot more substantial in the hand. They also have it in stainless steel if you want it uh, to be a little cheaper. This one's like, I think, $79 in their ARRPM9 steel. This is a Ray Laconico design. Uh, I love pretty much everything he does. You get a mill titanium pocket clip, beautiful button lock action. It's a front flipper as well. Works pretty darn good, but I like the reverse flick and the slow roll the most on here. Very comfortable in hand. This fills out the hand nicely, and this arcs down into the palm. Very comfortable, very slicey blade. I, I adore this knife. I've carried this one a lot lately. This next one as well, this is a Civivi Cubit. If you're looking for a compact, lightweight, super slicer, this is your knife. You got aluminum scales that are nice and softened. Beautiful button lock action, 14C, 28N, super slicey blade. Look how thin that blade stock is. So you're getting excellent blade geometries because you have thin blade stock, full flat grind that comes down nice and thin behind the edge. So this thing slices like nobody's business. You get an inset deep carry tip up, left or right handed pocket clip, very snappy action. I own two of these because I love it that much. You can get it coated, nine coated, nice grippy jimping, very pokey pokey tip there. Number four, we have the Civivi Sentinel Strike. Absolutely love this knife. Another one that I carried an awful lot. This one and its Damascus brother. Carried both of them. Uh, if you're looking for a stainless, you got to go with the 10CR stainless Damascus they have. Or you can go with the Bowler K110. Both of them are, you know, Civivi does a good job with both of them. It has a beautiful reverse flick action from that blade hole. Flipper tab works great. Thumb stud works great, and they have this integral backspacer right here, made out of FRN. I don't really mind it that much. Aluminum scales, button lock, very comfortable. You can choke up, get right onto whatever you're cutting. Excellent utility blade, get that tip down. Awesome, awesome knife. Deep carry pocket clip, you even have a little glass bricker right there. I own this one. And also the stainless Damascus, which in my opinion looks phenomenal, but it is a little bit over $100, so this is the only one that can make this list. This one also surprised me a good bit. QSP Swordfish. This one has been in the pocket a good little bit. You got a nice snappy button lock action, and then you have that beautiful pokey pokey worn clip blade. 14C 20 in steel. The only issue i have with this knife is i wish they would have given us more sharpening choil because you can see it's it's going to start widening up back here um beautiful action flipping action is good thumb stud action is good very comfortable that my car is nice and grippy reversible wire pocket clip yeah the swordfish uh, i did not expect to like it as much as i do it's a pretty aggressive looking belly but i love a good knife that I can use that tip on because that's most of the stuff I cut you know open up packages 
uh, breaking down boxes and stuff like that. This thing's going to be a dream with that. Next one, I'm super glad they released these. This is a Civivi Praxis, and I've owned <coughs> many different Praxises, but I forgot how much I love the Praxis until they came out with these Ultim Scales. You got these blasted, texturized Ultim Scales. You know, the, the material that's hot right now. It's a uh, it's pretty interesting material. We used to use it at my old job. We had a 3D printer, and we used to use a good bit of the Ultim you have a super, super slicey 9CR18 MOV blade. Super comfortable, nice full-size knife. All of them have beautiful action, every one of them that I've ever had. The Ultim's not your thing. They come in my car to G10, and they're priced so well. Love the Praxis. One of their mainstays in their lineup for Civivi for a good reason. Next one I reviewed recently, but it's been getting a lot of pocket time and I kind of thought it might stop carrying it because there are some things that I, I don't like about the knife, but I sharpened it up after the review and man, oh man, this N690 takes a screaming, screaming sharp edge and I have to say it performed very, very well. Better than VG10, at least the VG10 I've tested recently and I love the aesthetics. It's pretty darn comfortable depending on where your hand sits. For me, as long as I keep my finger either in front of this hump or uh, on like in between that hump, I'm good. I'm still getting used to the action, but it's getting better. It's a lot smoother now. I can slow roll it. I can spotty flick it. And I can spotty drop it. Uh, excellent blade shape. I think that's what really, really drew me to this knife. I love, once again, being able to get that tip down onto whatever I need to cut or slice open like that. You got this nice aluminum scales with a, a starburst pattern on it. And I'll try to remember, I have a $10 discount code for this knife um, that Vosti gave me. I will try to remember to put it in the description whenever I put the link to this knife. Uh, this is the RS Knife Works collaboration, nice compound ground blade. This crossbar lock is adjustable, like the clutch lock. You have an aluminum gear backspacer. Yeah, love the aesthetics of that knife. This is the Kaiser Doberman. This is the more affordable version. The contour G10 scales on here feel so, so, so nice. They're smooth, but not super slick. You have a 3D milled titanium pocket clip. Now that's probably my only gripe on this knife. Even though it's cool the way they did this to where they use this screw as the uh, placeholder for this pocket clip so you don't have to have a, a, a plate right here. You just take the screw out, swap the pocket clip over. But this pocket clip is very, very strong. And it's got the little nub. <laughs> it, it go, it, it's pretty hard getting in and out of the pocket, but um, I, it's not the worst. The action, outstanding. Just finished the testing up on this. Uh, super comfortable. You got a choke up spot with some effective jimping. You got a full flat ground blade. The action, stellar. On this one and the premium one. You also have those thumb studs. This is a nice full size knife here. Another really good one this year. Another Vosteed. The mini nightshade. Kind of stole the fifth pocket carry for the last month or two since these came out. I think I own... I think I own six of these now. I think I own like, yeah, I think I own four of the budget version ones and two of the more premium ones. This is the 14C28 inversion. You can get it in a non-coated black wash blade or a satin or a stone wash finished blade. Still get that beautiful crown spine. Very easy to get to that end of the tip so you can really do precise cuts, try to control that tip. So if you need to go into something and you don't want to go too far, because you don't want to cut maybe what's underneath it or something. Beautiful action. Snappy action. Another crossbar lock that is adjustable. This one has the gold thumb studs and the gold geared backspacer. Reversible deep carry pocket clip. Contoured scales. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Fifth pocket carry or just excellent uh, sub three inch knife. Last but certainly not least, this one kind of took me by surprise from Sin Cut. This is the Sin Cut Pantera. I think that's how you say it. This is a big, big, big knife. Let me bring the uh, mini nightshade back out for comparison. Pivot to pivot. 
and butt to butt. And on top to on top. Yeah, it disappears completely. <laughs> Hide and go seek inside the Pantera. I love, love that broad blade. The blade shape, excellent. Comfortable because of the wider scales really fill out the hand. This thing is super, super slicey. Beautiful action. You can reverse flick off that uh, blade hole. Or this minimal flipper tab works excellent for the regular flip. Reversible deep carry pocket clip. Sin Cut has absolutely killed it in 2023. I mean, they've always been good, but they stepped it up a notch. I think it was the beginning of, I mean, the end of last year and the beginning of this year. They just, one after another after another. High value, 9CR, 18 MOV. You can get it coated, non-coated. Peel Ply G10. So, yeah, that's the 10 that I've been carrying the most the last few months. Under $100. Let me know what's your top three most carried under $100 knives. That, that you've been carrying most often. Um, I love seeing those. I read every single one of those. And boy, I'll tell you what, those top 10 videos for 2023 are going to be very, very difficult. I have been retesting some of these just so I can, like, say, say if I'm trying to decide between these two, I'll put them head to head, and whichever one I think does better in performance. Uh, I put that as a win, and then I, I go over QC and, you know, action, all that good stuff. And it takes me a lot of time. So they're always, always thought out. I don't ever just throw these videos together. I can promise you that. Anybody who's been a follower of mine for a while knows I don't just throw videos up because I want you to get the best bang for your buck, no matter what knife it is. Try to make the best purchasing decisions you can. And I care. I care. I wouldn't have started this channel if I didn't care because I know I wasted a lot of money on junk knives when I first got into the hobby. And YouTube kind of fixed that for me because I've started following people that I like their taste and I like what, you know, they were doing. And I started getting better and better knives in my collection. So if you have any questions about anything in particular, feel free to ask me down in the comments. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. P-E-I-E.